Um, you are staring at my sectional in my living room. Um, I'm doing this as a video request. Someone had asked me if I could do a video of the de-stash items I have left. So this is going to be a de-stash video. So um, if you're not into that, you don't have to watch. Um, but so yeah, so she wanted me to show the things I have left and starting with, these are the Copics I have left. She asked me to show. Um, and this is to anybody who's interested. She would most likely probably have most of these, but these are sketch markers, markers um, the Copic sketch. Most of them have been barely used, if at all. Um, I just decided to go with the Spectrum. So here's the colors that I have left. I have RV11, it's pink. R81, which is rose pink. E11, which is um, barely beige. G05, emerald green. G99 is olive. Um, Y13, lemon yellow. Y21, buttercup yellow. RV34, which is dark pink. Y11, which is pale yellow. Uh, BG10, which is cool shadow. I have zero, which is the colorless blender. I have V09, which is violet. Y17, which is golden yellow. And YR68, which is orange. So those are the Copics that I have left. They're going to be um, $4.99 plus shipping. The shipping shouldn't be too much if it's in. This is all in the U.S. too. And if you guys are okay with the PayPal via gift. Um, but $4.99 and then plus the shipping. The shipping would probably be, depending on how many markers, probably $1.99 to $2.99 at most. Um, probably could ship all these for $2.99 um, if, if anyone was interested. So anyone, um, the first person to PM me, um, they're yours with your uh, PayPal info, or I have to give you mine, I guess. Um, but just let me know that you're interested through private message. Um, then there's a couple dies. I still have, I have this up on the scrapyard, so anybody who, you know, I have to do the first person who... Um, asked about it but I have this one for $27 this is the one in the Stampin' Up! catalog it's it's it, it'll work in your cuddle bug but I think you need the extender plates um, but that's what I use for and this is what it makes this is just a little demo to show you it makes these cute little and you can make a four pack and you can fill them with goodies and you know this is just an example of what you can make with them but um, that's the Stampin' Up! milk carton die so I'm gonna do 27 plus shipping which this will probably have to ship priority like one of them flat rate envelopes so anywhere in the US so I have that die I have this one this is the Tim Holtz these um, snowflake die and I'm going to do what was this 15 plus shipping, which would probably be a dollar ninety nine shipping. So if anybody's interested in that, just say the Tim Holtz, and this is called Mini Snowflake Rosette, and that's what it makes. Um, so I have that die, that die. Then I have this one, which is going to be um, 15 plus shipping. This is the Tim Holtz, and it's going to be hard to see, but it's called Sewing Room, and it's the one that does. Can you see it there? It's the dress form, the little spool with the thread, and then the button with the two holes. So you probably can't see that too well, but um, if you just look up Google um, Tim Tim Holtz uh, sewing room, so that's that die. So this one's going to be 15 plus shipping, and then there's one more set of dies. This is the paper tray ink. There are two different sets. It's called Boxy Banners die. Um, these two layer onto each other, and if you go back to some of my older videos, I did um, a banner for my little sister when she came home from Spain using these. Um, but I no longer need them, so these ones are going to be... I forget what I had these for. If you're interested in these, let me know. I'll get back to you on the price, because I have it up on the scrapyard, too. Um, and I'll see what I posted on there, but I forget. And then, um, just to stick with the dies, what else do I have in here? Oh, I also have... This one's going to be twelve. This one's going to be $12.50 plus shipping. This is the Sizzix Ornaments Number no. 3 die. And this will be good for Christmas, but um, Ornaments Number no. 3. And I don't have to show you, but... Um, I had in previous videos, and my, my last D-stash, if you want to go, I showed samples of these because it's probably very hard to see, and this is just um, burlap that's in there that will come out. But, but that's that one. So that one's um, $12.50 plus shipping, so just say the ornaments die if you're interested in that. And I think that's it for the dies. And then I just had, oh no, there's this one too. I don't even know what the price this one at. But this one has, this one's just like a mix. They're all from a set, but there's missing this big one because that's one I use a lot. But I'm never going to use these ones. So um, these ones will do 11, 
eleven dollars plus shipping, which shouldn't be a lot because these are little. I might even be able to cut this and send it, you know, even cheaper. But um, it comes with one, two, three, four, five dies, and here's what they look like. So they'd be cute little accents on cards. I just that's not my style, so that's not something that I would use. So we'll do eleven dollars plus shipping on these. So just call these the Spellbinders, the Spellbinders uh, dies. So that's it for the dies, and I just have a couple cartridges. Um, this is what I think she was mainly interested in. But um, these ones are, we'll do 25, whoa, 25 plus $1.99 shipping. They're all brand new in their case. Um, it'll be a little cheaper shipping if you if you decide you want it, you know, unboxed with just the cartridge and the overlay and the handbook. So let me know with that. But if not, um, ship this way. It'll be $25 plus um, two for shipping. So that for I have the best images of 2010. I have the Heritage, which is brand new. Let's see. Um, there's some of the images. This has a cute. I think this one has a font too. Yeah, it does. A little font. It's got a lot of cute little things on it. So that's Heritage, uh, best images of 2010, and this one, which is freshly picked. So it's brand new, all in their packaging. So they've never been linked. So um, $25 each and then um, $1.99 shipping in the U.S. So if anybody's interested in any of those items, I'm trying to get rid of these Copics. So if anybody um, has to add to their collection, let me know or let me know which ones that um, you're interested in. And um, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and PM me if you're interested. Thanks, guys. Bye.